Hi, it's Natalie here with an important topic. Now, during times of uncertainty and crisis, it's important not to add to the hysteria and try to your absolute best to try and remain calm. Now, this is why it's so important to add meditation to your daily routine. Now, through meditation, you allow yourself to be fully present and engulfed in the present moment, allowing for more peace and calmness, something we can all definitely use right now. Don't you agree? So without meditation, we have no way of dealing with the anxieties that are coming up. Now, all of our old ways of coping, which don't normally work very well, are not working at all. Distraction and ignoring or numbing out. I mean, how can you ignore something that's going on everywhere? <laughs> Procrastination and avoiding. I mean, you can't really avoid the crisis. Uh, control of all kinds. You know, and you really can't control this situation, uh, although we are trying to find ways to control. Or even exiting or quitting. I mean, you can't exit from the world. You can't exit from what's going on around you. Or you could be complaining and lashing out at others. I mean, you can do this, but it just makes the situation worse, especially if you're doing this to the loved ones that you're you know, in lockdown with. Or if you're worrying. Yep, that's happening a lot. <laughs> So as you can see, like none of these coping mechanisms are working right now. So if our usual ways of coping with worry and uncertainty cannot work right now, then what can we do? Well, we can freak out <laughs> or we can sit around and we can binge watch Netflix or we can wait till it's all over or we can meditate. Now, it's our choice because here's the thing. We don't get control to everything that's out there. We have no control over that. We have no control over what the story is, what the media is doing, you know, what's happening. But what we do have control over is our minds and our thoughts, our hearts and our emotion, and our immediate environment. So meditation is one of the best things that you can do right now to make sure that your environment, your mind, and your emotions are all in alignment with being at peace and being centered and being calm. Now, meditation isn't magic, but it is an effective tool for uncertainty and for anxiety. So here's what it can do for us during these times of heightened fears. First of all, it helps us to notice when we're caught up in anxious thoughts. You know, and when you do notice this, you can do something about it. Now, meditation can help us to see the feelings that are arising for us, which we might not normally notice, and interrupt the thought cycles so that we don't get caught up in that negative cycle and that negative vortex of worry and anxiety that might be keeping us from the present moment. Or this negative vortex of thoughts could really help it stopping us from sleeping. Um, so by dropping our awareness into the sensations of the body through meditation, it really helps us to calm down and see that in this moment, the things are not dangerous. You know, it helps to calm down the parasympathetic nervous system so it lowers our cortisol levels. And lowering our cortisol levels is so important because if we have high cortisol, which is our stress hormone, it's suppressing our immune system. And we really need our immune systems to be at high functioning rate right now. You know, it brings calm and focus when we really need to get some stuff done. So, you know, if you are working from home or if you have got some projects and you are still working towards your goals um, and you're feeling anxious and worried and you've just, you know, seen the news or you've just been on social media and seen some, you know, negative report of what's going on, then you can sit down and do like a 5, 10, 15 minute meditation and it really helps you to become a clean slate both through your thoughts and emotionally so you can sit down and start getting some stuff done. So you can see that these are just a few benefits that you might get from meditation. Now, obviously, there's much more to it, but it's so worth practicing. And if you've never practiced meditation before, there's no better time than now to start. So how do you form a habit of meditation? Well, if you don't already have a meditation habit, don't worry about that because now's the best time to get started, like I just said. So if you have had a practice of meditation before, but for some reason got out of the habit of it and just let it drop, don't worry. Just let go of any guilt and get started again. Now, here's what I suggest. So first, pick a time. Let's make it a consistent time every day. Let's say it's 7 a.m. Actually, a good tip is to choose a task that you do every day anyway and tie the, your new uh, meditation habit to that event. 
So maybe right when you wake up, for example, or right after you shower. So for me, what I do with my meditation practice, since we've been in this, uh, since we've been delightfully housebound and we've been, you know, in, uh, you know, social distancing, um, I've actually increased my meditation practice. So uh, I used to meditate in the middle of the day. Now I've started to do it first thing in the morning. So I'll wake up, I get up, I drink some water, I clean my teeth, um, and then I sit down and I do my meditation. Now the reason I do it first thing now is because I want to make sure that everything I do for the rest of the day now is going to be permeated with this really centered, calm energy. Now, because before, I would always be in a rush, rush having a shower, rush throwing down breakfast, rush, you know, to do everything. But see, everything now, especially after I've meditated, becomes a mindful practice. It I, it, I can do it slowly. I can do it intentionally. I'm not stressing out. I'm not angsting. I've got so much time now because I don't have to be traveling or going anywhere. Um, so it makes it so much easier when I meditate first and that just sets the foundation of energy for the rest of the day. Now what I've also done is started to do one at night and I like to do this before I go to bed. Uh, and the reason for this is again so that I can get into a very calm and centered state so it's easier for me to fall asleep. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been having, especially in the beginning of, uh, of our being delightfully housebound, I was having some really weird dreams. So I was obviously tapping into something that was part of the collective. But when I meditate before I go to sleep or before I go to bed, what I find is that uh, it's a much deeper sleep and a much calmer sleep for the evening. And I find it much easier to do that. So, you know, set yourself a reminder. You know, put the reminder on your phone and put it on your calendar so you're getting, you know, that little notification so that you don't forget. Now, also put it like a paper note somewhere where you'll see it. You know, maybe when you wake up in the morning, you can see a poster note on the ceiling above your bed. Uh, or maybe you put it on the mirror in the bathroom so that when you get up in the mornings to, to go to the bathroom, you actually see that then. It's reminding you to do your meditation. You know, forgetting how to, to meditate or forgetting and getting out of the habit is really common in the beginning. So just set a timer for two minutes and when you're ready to meditate, pick a comfortable spot. Now you can be seated in a chair, you can be seated on the floor. Um, sometimes I'll do it here on the couch and I'll put the recliner back and I'll just, you know, um, be sitting here and, and start with two minutes if you have to. I mean, I like to meditate for at least 20 minutes in the morning uh, and 20 minutes in the evening. Uh, and it depends. If I have a super busy day, it's 20 minutes, but if I can do more than that, I will. But, and even if it's two minutes, that's fine to start with. Well, what we're trying to do is get you into the habit. Now, at two minutes, that's easy. You know that you can do that. It's easier to stick to. Um, and then just increase by a few minutes every day. And, it, and, and you know what? And the first thing to do is kind of pay a little, little trick on yourself and go, okay, well, I'm going to commit to doing this for a week. I mean, we can do anything for a week, right? And then when you get to the end of that week, go, okay, now I'm going to get, do it for the next week. <laughs> and if you do it like that, then you'll find that you start to get into the rhythm of it and that you don't need to be setting yourself little goals like this that you know that it's actually going to be part of your daily practice. So when you do sit down and meditate, first thing you want to do is just pay attention to your breath. Just pay attention to your breath. Close your eyes, make sure you're in a comfortable position and then just breathing in and out and, and breathe a little bit deeper and slower than you normally would and put your attention on your breath. Now that could mean, you know, seeing it coming in and out of your nose, concentrating on the tip of your nose um, or just concentrating on the breath filling your lungs and then leaving it. And two minutes, start with that. And if your mind starts to wander in that two minutes, it's okay. Simply notice that, bring it back and focus on your breath. Because with meditation, you know, it's not like we don't have any thoughts in our mind. You've got to be thinking about something. And this is why we get you to focus on your breath because that is something that your mind is focusing on. And don't worry about getting distracted. I mean, it happens to everyone. Just keep coming back to the breath when you notice that your mind has started to wander. Then after your timer goes off, you know, thank yourself. Be grateful. Acknowledge that you actually have the discipline to sit down and do your meditation. You know, a little gratitude helps to stick to you to any habit. Thank yourself for making the effort and then notice what good this small practice has already brought you. It's pretty simple, right? But you have to notice the benefits or you'll be off the habit. So another thing that I highly suggest is that you make your practice easier 
Um, and, and you could do that by playing a guided meditation. Now, guided meditations are my favourite, and I'm always listening to guided meditations because they actually help you to visualise more effectively and they give you something for your mind to concentrate on. So if you're ready to give it a try, you can actually find one completely free uh, in the description below. Just click on the link to get access to that free guided meditation. Now, before I go, I would love to hear from you. Please comment below on any meditation tips that can really help our community thrive during these challenging times. And don't forget to subscribe to the My Movies YouTube channel for more videos on personal growth and the law of attraction. My name is Natalie Ledwell. Thank you for watching and bye for now.